Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana Baby. And I'm back again with another eye-opening episode. Don't tell me Africa is not beautiful. My brother, my sister, don't tell me that Africa is not heaven. The more I get the chance to travel within Africa, the more I learn to appreciate this beautiful continent that God took his time to create. Kenya is gorgeous. It's my fifth time in this country and this country always finds a reason to surprise me. A resort on a mountain. Oh my goodness, this is heavenly. When I show people stuff like this in Africa, they don't believe it. And even if they believe it, they tell me that it's not owned by an African. This exquisite resort that you see on top of a mountain is owned by an African woman. And if you don't believe me, come with me. Let's go talk to the owner. But hey, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Help us get 600,000 subscribers. Diana. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Habariako. Salama kabisa. Hey, I don't understand that why. Uh, salama <laughs> means everything is fine. Everything is fine. Yes, karibu. Well, karibu. Well, well, uh, sana. <laughs> karibu <know> lerwat. <laughs> oh my goodness. How did you acquire the land on a mountain? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say uh, somebody, somebody acquired uh, the land. Somebody acquired the land? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay. Let me understand. Mm -hmm. you, are you the CEO of um, this resort? I'm one of the directors. One of the directors. Yes. So who owns it? Uh, it's family business. So mm. it's owned by me, my brother, my mom. How did you guys get to know that there is a place like this that we can live in here? Because to get up here, <laughs> oh my goodness, I was so scared to get up here. Well, the crazy person who bought the hill was my mom. Mm. <laughs> You're not trying to say your mom is crazy. No, she's not mom, crazy. Cra mom, good crazy. Good, good crazy. <laughs> good crazy. She's absolutely the most ambitious person you'll ever meet. Mm. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she bought the hill to build a holiday home for herself and her grandchildren. So this place used to be a holiday home? Uh, well, started as that. Mm, started. And which year was this? This was back in, wow, we are in 2015. Hmm. 2015, let's just say 2015, we started operations. So two years back, it took two years to build. But which means <laughs> that you were living in Nairobi. Yes, we were living in Nairobi. And so this was just supposed to be like a getaway for the weekend. Just oh. go relax away from the hustle and bustle of the city. And what happened? Well, then uh, she found everybody wanted to come and sleep here. Mm? <laughs> all of us, all uh, the grandchildren, her sisters, family. So she built more rooms. So she was like, okay, we can have more of you. And then we started, there were all 12 rooms in total. And then mm. we're like, okay, friends wanted to come. They're like, no, charge us. It's okay, charge us, cook for us. So that's, that's pretty much how it started. And it just evolved and it was a smaller resort. Whoa, <laughs> this place is super beautiful. Thank you, thank you. I mean, l let me know what, what makes this place so unique. <laughs> Need I say the more? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the view, the view is amazing. Uh, the view is amazing. The food is amazing as well. Mm. Good customer service, exceptional service. Yes, exceptional rooms. Yeah, and we're still growing. What is the inspiration behind the architecture in here? Because I'm seeing wooden yes. structures. Well, the inspiration is what we, we, were, we are going for or what we've gone for is mm. we wanted like a cabin look. Huh? So we always liked how cabins look in Switzerland and on to, the ones that are on top of the mountain and mm -hmm. they're all nice and cozy or in Alaska. So that's pretty much what we were going for. So we're just trying to yeah borrow from that and... Yeah, that's what we've tried yes, to I've create here. Yeah. Amazing job, yeah. Thank you. But you started with twelve rooms. We started with twelve rooms for two years. Hmm. Uh, then, because of demand, people wanted to come. We were always fully booked. Every other weekend, we are full. Over Christmas, we could we the first week of December would have sold out the room. So we're like, you know what? Let's add. I mean, let's add. So we went added. They became thirty, and now we have a total of fifty. 50 yeah within the period of three years yes within the period of three years just your mom you and your brother yes 
I think they deserve a round of applause. <laughs> And a lot of support, moral support from families. Because it's so easy to be discouraged. Mm. You're constructing on top of a hill. People can tell you, what are you thinking? That is like the worst idea ever. But yes, a lot of support from family. What was the major challenge? Huh? A major challenge, of course, is always finances. Eh? Number one. But you know, we have partners, they are banks. So uh, that, that at least has come through. And they have made us, you know, they have supported us. This far we've come. A lot of people don't know what I'm talking about, so I guess you have to take me around this place so that they will know what I'm talking about. Most definitely, most definitely. I think it's a weekend gateway. Yeah. Yes, it is. A very yes. nice place, very near the city, okay. very close to Nairobi. We are about uh, one and a half hours drive, okay. so about 90 km from Nairobi. Mm. Yeah. Impressive. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's I mean, you, so people live and drive for lunch. It's not only accommodation. You can come in, have a meal, and drive back. And drive back? Yeah. Mm. Is that a conference room, it looks like? Yes, this is, a this is one of our conference rooms. I mean, what is this place for? This is usually like, it's like a breakaway area. If you're having a conference or an event or a private event, so guys just come here, chill, enjoy the views, have a drink. I mean, see myself sitting down here, wearing my drink with this view. With that view. You will I not want to asleep. leave. <laughs> <laughs> you will not want to leave. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So this is the playground. Mm. It's used as a playground. There's a small kids area right there. Okay. And I mean, if you have a helicopter, we don't discriminate. You can land it here. Has any helicopter landed over oh, here yeah. before? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is on top of a mountain. <laughs> Yes, yes, we have some space here, so feel free to land your helicopter. Okay. Don't <laughs> bring your private jet. Uh -uh, no, 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 just a helicopter. <laughs> just a helicopter. Yes. <laughs> we sell the best nyamachoma in Maasai land. Mm. Mm? Oh, this place is a Maasai land, yeah? Yes, it's Maasai. This whole area, Kajiado, is predominantly Maasai. Yeah, so we'll go. You mm. see the choma zone? Test a bit of choma. Mm. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I love meat, so <laughs> that's a good day for me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So this whole area is... So we have bandas. Hmm. Uh, we have bandas. So when you come with your family okay. or you're a couple, you can sit down, have your drinks. Uh, yeah, enjoy the views and have your nyamachoma. Hmm? This is so pretty. Like, I, I can't wait to see this place at night. I think it will be more... Oh, yeah. And this and is that. also a bonfire area. So we normally light up the bonfire. You can sit there, enjoy your drink. It gets chilly at night, so Even as you now, keep warm. I feel so cold. <laughs> I, at night. I don't think you can come here alone. Uh, <laughs> no, you cannot you, come alone. You can't come but alone. But no, you can. Uh, I mean, uh, personal time. Can, uh, personal time. You, you can't come here alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm? Okay. Yeah. So this is where we do the bonfire area. Oh. Yeah. So, so we light evening? it up. Huh? Oh. Yes, uh, every especially weekends when we have many people, mm. we light it up from around 7 p.m. Yeah, guys, come chill, enjoy the fireplace. Mm. Now this is where we do the nyamachoma. Nyamachoma. Eh? So this whole area is just for nyamachoma. Yes, we do nyamachoma and chicken choma. Oh, kula choma. Ro roast chicken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> eh? Yes. Hi. Hi, hi. Habari yako? Okay, utatukatia tunyama hapa tu tests. Huh? Tuone kama upishi yako. Huh? I want to taste the nyama. Huh? The nyama. Yeah. Hmm? So, the goats, goats from Maasai land are the tastiest goats. We have all Very that tasty. here. Yes. Hey, yeah. We are already on the Maasai land. We are already on Maasai land, so goats are everywhere. <laughs> Put a bit of salt. Mm. Put a bit of salt. Mm. Oh, there's the salt. Mm. Yeah, so you can grab a toothpick. Said so the best Yamatoma is from here. Mm. Eh? Mm. This is good. <laughs> I'm going to take a <laughs> Eat yourself. Yeah, mm? Thank you. Mm? Yeah. Mm. Yeah.
Yeah, so these are just small garden areas. Just small sitting area. Oh. Mm -hmm. So these are just garden areas, eh? Yeah, just sitting. Guys, sit. Um, yeah, enjoy their meals. Mm. So, uh -huh. you come up. This is our bar. Oh. Yeah. Then we have the reception area and a few rooms. Those are two rooms up there. I, I wanted to know which was the first room that your mom built in here. I'll show you. It, it's a cottage. It's a family cottage. Oh, okay. Yes, it's a family cottage. It's two bedrooms. I'll show you. I'll take you to the rooms. No yeah. Problem. Then this is our restaurant. This is where we have all our meals. Yes, breakfast, lunch, uh, dinner for the residents. What kind of food do you have in here? Uh, we do continental. Continental. Yes, yes. Continental African cuisine. Yeah. Yeah, and we have another conference room up here. Yeah. So we have two conference rooms. Mm, the, the one we saw over there. Yeah, the one we saw, and then this one up here. Yeah. Yeah, so these are the cottages, the first, the first rooms, the 12, what, wow, this, okay, it's been blocked, <laughs> uh, uh, there's this one, which is similar to this, okay. and this one, so those were the first structures, yes, so we started with the two cottages, mm -hmm. the two bedroom cottages, oh. each is two bedrooms with rooms on top, so it's like a three bedroom cottage, oh. and then we start, and then this block came soon after, it has six rooms, and then you have a lounge area with a fireplace, eh? just to chill, relax, so that's what we used to use as our restaurant when we first began. Uh, I, I would love to say hello to your mom, so <laughs> thinking that I need to build a house in here. Whoa, this is like, yeah. she was actually preparing for retirement or something? I think she this is. For the retirement plan. I think she is, yes. Is uh, I think eventually when she says, okay, I'm done working, she will come here and just be like. This is the massage area. Whoa. So this is where you come and get your R&R. This place is so hidden. How will I find this place? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Don't yeah. worry, you'll find it. And that's why it's called the bush massage. The bush massage. Yes, it's done. Only me and the person who's going to massage me. Yes. Is a man or a woman? A lady. A lady? Oh my goodness. <laughs> but in the bush massage, if anything happens, no one will, she cries, no one will hear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you're safe. You <laughs> shall be safe with her. <laughs> hmm? Oh my goodness. Yes. This so. Is, Beautiful. This is where you just come, relax, have your massage, have your body scrub. So, and then after that, you'll have a very good night's sleep. Is it expensive? No, it's not. No. No, the cheese. Like, does it come in a package or? Uh, yes, we have different packages. Hmm. They range between 3,000 shillings, which is like $30, okay. to $120. That's so cheap. Though. Yeah. Really cheap. Mm. But when I came in here, I saw buildings coming up. Yeah. Are you expanding or something? Uh, yes, we are building our swimming pool. Mm, oh. That's yeah, that's like the last project now. So we're doing our pool both for kids and adults, and we're doing a bigger restaurant to accommodate about three hundred people. And then we're doing a gym. We're doing an indoor gym, and then we'll have another spa on the on the other end, mm. and an, and a conference room. But uh, I, I, I have just want to know. Yeah, mom stayed in Kenya all her life. All her life. How about you? Uh, I've traveled to study. Yes, I've been to Australia and I've been, okay. Australia, I went to study. UK, I went to live for a bit, but I didn't like it. I don't like the cold, so I came back. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like the cold, so no, you came no. back. That's why I went to Australia. It's very uh, hot. <laughs> but mom achieved all this thing, including all of you here in Africa, which means that it's possible yeah. in Africa. It's possible. Anything is possible in Africa. We can do everything what and anything. Saying? We can do anything, but we always want to live and don't want to come that, back again. Live, go learn what you need to learn, come back and invest it here. This is why you'll retire. Hmm? Do you feel like there are more opportunities in here? Lots of opportunities in Africa. We have opportunities to do everything. We can manufacture our own products. We can make our own clothes. This is African. This is Kenyan. Hmm? There's nothing here I'm wearing. Okay, maybe the shoes. <laughs> Everything is made in Kenya. But so, it, it seems we don't believe that. We don't believe in ourselves. Yeah, it's a mentality thing, and I think we need to get that out of our minds. COVID should have taught us we need to be self-sustaining as Africans. Make our own food, build our own real estate, 
finance ourselves within Africa. Huh? Yeah, that's ju that's just the way if we just you, need to go. If you had a chance to change anything in Africa, what would it be? Uh, just our leaders. <laughs> 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 no, the way our leaders think, that is one thing I would want to well, change. Well, how, how do they think? I mean, they, they have so much power and they have access to all this money and yet Africa, we are still considered third world. Don't you think there's a problem in leadership? <laughs> I think so too. There is. I really agree So with I you. wish they can just change that perception and become the people to empower their common men. You know, they're common people who are just struggling to start businesses. They just need to empower Is them. Is it affordable to live in here? Where? Is it affordable to live in here? Like to rent an, um, a, a room? Like a room in Very here. affordable. Very affordable. Very affordable. So you think what am I can afford a night in here? Mm? You yes. Can afford? But of course. <laughs> <laughs> you so can. Let, let me know the kind of rooms you have in here. Mm? We have different types of rooms. We have different categories. So we have the standard rooms, we have the deluxe rooms, and we have the executive suite. The most cheapest one is how much? The, the cheapest one uh, on bed and breakfast, when you're a couple, mm. you pay 12000 mm? So that's about $120. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the most expensive room is the executive suite, which if um, for a couple is $300 or 30000 Kenya shillings. Oh, mm. I think this is a weekend gateway that each and everyone watching us right now. I mean, if you live in Nairobi, just take a trip. It's like 90 kilometers, roughly 90 to 100 kilometers. Yeah. You just come in here, spend a night, two nights, three nights. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's owned by an African, so it's time for us to support them. You know what I mean? I I'm going to yeah. spend a night here uh, yeah. just for the first person to support so that they will also come and support. Yeah. Yeah, the only way we can grow as Africa is Africans support Africans. If you don't support me, where am I going? I will not make it. So, and you can see even the clientele that's here, they're all Africans, they're all Kenyans. So Kenyans supporting Kenyans, build Kenya, build Africa. I want to say thank you so much for talking to me. <laughs> You're welcome.